Look at this guy right here. Tajiro, what are you doing in here? Excuse me, Mr. Tajiro. Ayo, <laughs> are you gonna miss us? Step over you, sorry. All right, we are packing today. Well, I am packing, not we. Um, yeah, I thought I was gonna get a head start on packing, but I was actually sick for the last three days after I went to the dentist. Um, I got a, a crown put in, a temporary crown, because I was grinding my teeth, so the tooth that I have was kind of worn down, so it's gonna have to be replaced with a crown. And I felt like maybe because my gums is sensitive, it got swollen, and I don't know if it got infected, but half of my cheeks were swollen the other day, and I'm actually on antibiotics, and I had a fever for the last two days. I'm just feeling a little bit better now. I slept all day today. Um, yeah, ever since I did the closet video, I was out after like two days so now i'm just gonna pack last minute packing um we are leaving for hawaii tomorrow so i think i'm gonna bring this dress that i talked about in the last one i didn't even take the sleeves off yet maybe i'll do that now before we go take that dress um let me see take this really adorable cute white dress as well it's kind of like a backless one. I don't know if you guys can see. But yeah, this one, both white. Yellow, yellow dress. This yellow one right here. This wrap dress. So a couple of dresses. I think that's it. We're only going there for one week, so I don't want to overpack. And sometimes when I feel like I want to wear some of these pieces, I end up not wanting to wear it when I get there. It's always the case, right? Maybe I'll take this one too. This is cute. I actually don't like anything that's sleeveless. I always have to have like a cardigan or a jacket over top. A light jacket anyways. I think that is it for dresses. I'm going to take a couple of skirts and shorts of course. Favorite shorts will probably have to be these Levi's. I'll throw that in the mix. Maybe one more pair of denim. White denim. And I bought this hat to wear as well for the trip and skirt here that I bought from Aritzia this wrap skirt that has a pocket on the side here cute and then I also got a really really cute blazer which is a crop blazer and this is in a size 6 love the fabric nice and light and I think I'm gonna bring it on this trip here be cute with jeans and a tank top still gotta try these on to make sure I actually want to wear it in Hawaii I also want you guys to see this cute bathing suit that I got remember how I was talking about that eyelet white bathing suit that I love so much so I found a new version this is the same brand as the one that I love um, it's just a new version the other one that I had had like um, a different stitching. I like this one a lot better because it has the ruffles instead of just the plain um, design that they had and it fits so well it hugs your like stomach and it fits it fits like a glove almost and I think this is an Australian brand sea level swim so and I got this one as well this two-piece bathing suit Again, I'm going to leave it in the link below. I'm also going to bring a couple more other bathing suits. My LV one. I think I'm going to wear this as a bodysuit with shorts. Um, yeah, I got my LV one. These are Emma's. And that is it for swimwear. And shoes. Bring one handbag. Let's go pick out my shoes. Definitely going to bring my Oran sandals here. And a kitten heel, which I think I'm going to bring the white ones because white goes with everything. This Louis Vuitton one, it is the most comfortable shoes or heel. It's like a cute little kitten heels. The front is so squishy and soft. This is one of the reasons I love it because it's so comfortable. So I'll take these shoes right here. My favorite pairs. Toiletry pouch. 
And I'm gonna take the Chanel one here when we go out for dinner and stuff. So we have all of my bathing suits in here. Emma's toiletry bag. Um, my shoes, which I'm gonna put in here. The snorkel set that we will bring on with us. I'm trying to fit everything in here. I don't think we brought a lot of stuff. Um, just enough because we're only going there for, like I said, eight days. And my other pair of shoes. And then these are the dresses that I'm bringing. Three dresses for like dinner and stuff. Um, a couple of tanks here. Casual tanks, crop tops. And then we have, of course, PJs. My white cover up or long sleeve button up, which I always like to wear over like a tank top or something. And then we have the rest, which is just shorts and a couple of my blouse. Really cute. This one is so adorable. I feel like I'm overpacking again. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we'll see what I actually wear. <laughs> and my three bottoms or four bottoms, sh three shorts and a skirt. Slip on skirt here with another silk blouse, which I love to wear to cover up my shoulders. And that is it. We're all done. Toiletry stuff is next. Travel size is the best. So we'll do lotion, serum, cleanser, and um, water. Eye cream. This is a Thai brand that helps reduce if you're breaking out. It kind of like dries out the pimple. It's kind of like the pimple patch, but you don't need the patch. You just put the gel on. I might just bring this mask as well, just in case from the sun and all that stuff. And that is pretty much what I'm taking with me for my travel size skincare and then a little comb here as well to put everything in one bag and then this this is quite heavy actually i love 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 this cream this body cream um it smells so good if you haven't tried this this is so yummy mm, i love it and normally i don't really like scent in my lotion or body creams um, but this is just the right amount. And as for makeup, I'm gonna put my brush in here first. I'm gonna take my Chanel foundation here. This is the water foundation. Of course, my go-to Hermes um, translucent powder. This is my second um, set, so brand new set that I just got. And of course, their bronzer. And then I'm gonna take this pink Dior blush, some lip oil, favorite color, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna do both the coral and the nude, which is like a pink when you actually put it on. My brushes, favorite brush from Hourglass. This is a dual one. I use both side concealer, Dior concealer. I use this for the concealer brush because it's like a dual tip from Chanel. My hair is a mess. <sighs> That's what happens when you're not feeling well. I can never catch a break. I thought I was recovering and now this whole thing happened. Feeling much better. I think the antibiotics is kicking in now for the last two days. Um, yeah, anyways. This is my foundation brush by Hourglass. I think I find Hourglass brushes are pretty good. Um, I also have Tom Ford, which is the big, like, fluffy brush. But I find that this is a little bit too heavy for me. And I prefer uh, Sephora 
This is their travel size brush. They also have a regular size, which is a lot longer. It goes out to here. Um, this is the powder brush. So I use that sometimes, but I'm not gonna bring that because I don't need it. Um, and that is pretty much it. Maybe I'll bring a little bit of a highlighter. By the way, hubby hurt his back and he's like limping like this, like walking like this. So both of us kind of out of commission. Um, I'm just glad the kids are okay and healthy. So I'm almost there. Hopefully maybe tomorrow will be good. Like I'm feeling a lot much better. Um, but yeah, hubby is like out. He was like, oh, I can't believe this happened right before our trip. He could barely walk. He's been seeing a Cairo. He did acupuncture. He did um, a cupping and he is on painkillers. It's not working. And yeah, it's a whole nother story with him. So I just hope he kind of enjoys this trip because he's been looking forward to it for a while. So I just feel really bad. But uh, we're gonna make the best out of it and, um, you know, and make it fun, hopefully. <laughs> Dior um, line, what is this, line corrector? I'm gonna take that with me. This gel, highly recommend for my brow. I use this quite often. I'm also gonna take my brow powder because I feel like my brows are kind of like turning to gray. I need to get them redone. Mm. I've been starting to use mascara underneath my eye like my lower lash because yeah i think i need another fill but i didn't have time to go so we'll make do and that is it and here is all i'm bringing for that make it part and we are all done we're getting up really early tomorrow we're gonna leave around 7 a.m Flight's at 10 a.m. My sister's actually dropping us off. She's house-sitting with my cousin May. So they're gonna watch the cat for us. And um, yeah, we're excited to leave tomorrow. Get some nice warm weather because Vancouver has been raining and cold. It started snowing all of a sudden and it just disappeared and then it rained again. So it's a mix right now with the weather in Vancouver. So. Um, that is it. Gonna pack up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, our flight is delayed for two hours because the first officer, the pilot, is delayed. And yeah. We got time to kill. Oh, I don't think we can go out that way. We wanted to go to the international. No, you can't. You can't? It's on the other, other side, okay. Yeah, because we wanted to check it out because it's a separate entrance from the US side and the international side. But Nico's gonna go get his cologne. Should I open it? Ooh, you should, yeah. Emma got this. Can I see what you got? I think that's adorable. A bunch of mini, mini Tic Tacs, travel size. The duty free in the domestic is a lot smaller. Oh, look at these cute plushies. We want to be on that side <laughs> over there, the international side. Oh, Hermes is gone. Right there. No, that was not That was not That was right in the corner or something. Yeah, the world of duty free is right. The bigger duty free is right there, Nico. Oh, so cute. This is adorable, Emma. We need to get this. You actually want it? Mentos. I think I've, I haven't seen one like this. And Eagles want Mantos. Tim Hortons. First this is the final boarding call for WestJet flight 1754 to Orange County. Eagle, you want your burger? Ed is at the gate waiting. 
just waiting for the announcement. We still have another hour, hour and 40 minutes left. I have this because I'm getting a little hungry. Feeling a lot better this morning, which is good. My left side of my cheek still really hurts. Like I'm sore throughout my lower neck and my jawline. I was gonna put this hat in my luggage, but I forgot. So I don't really normally wear hats, but I figured I'd bring one because it's sunny over there. Come on. Definitely a lot quieter on this side. There is a spa over there. Maybe I'll get a, like a shoulder rub while we wait. <clears throat> Can't believe we were delayed for two and a half hours. Waiting for a pilot. So originally we we're gonna land at around 2.30. So I guess we're gonna get there around five. Or do our check-in and then go out for dinner. I think there's a lot of kids on this flight. I've seen so many little toddlers. So hopefully this will be a smooth flight. Not a lot of crying. We always get crying babies around us. I'm gonna stop eating now. Because he said he wanted to go and sit down and eat. Technically, we should be boarding, so I would have been eating this on the plane. We're flying through WestJet, and we don't have a lot of good food selection, so. WestJet in flight menu. Emma's gonna have a cup of noodle. What you got over there, Emma? Your CDs? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is how hubby is walking, limping, slowly but surely. How's your back, babe? You okay? Sitting for so long. Okay, this is the tricky part. My back is good. Aloha! Nico, are you excited? <laughs> I'm so excited. Yes, been a while. Emma's super excited. She was like recording her arrival. Ooh, AC, yes, nice and cool. We're in our rental. Time to head to the hotel, check in, grab a bite to eat because I am hungry. I think everyone's a little hungry. Um, I had like two meals. You had two meals. Two you meals. had a cup of noodle and um, pasta, right? Yeah, well, I didn't have anything except for that. Um, well, I ask you. To, I know, I wasn't hungry then because well, it was still really early. I have to. And um, yeah, you had to take your painkillers. So um, I had just that one sandwich for breakfast. Same thing with Emma. She had a cup of noodle, Nico as well. And that was it on the in-flight meal. Not much, but um, it's a little something something. Now we're gonna, you know, stuff away and we have to go to Target. I need some sunscreen and um, some shampoo because I intentionally didn't bring them because you know it takes room in the luggage and I wanted to pack light so we'll do a quick stop and um, it's 5 30. I didn't realize that Hawaii was actually two hours behind. I thought we were gonna get there we we're gonna land at 7 but 7 Vancouver time so the sun is still bright out, blue skies, it's so refreshing to see because you know we haven't gotten any blue skies in Vancouver lately, it only lasts for about 5 minutes and then the clouds roll in, so, and the weather is so warm, I'm excited, I think my um, cure for my pain on my left side is kind of gone, maybe because from the excitement. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Just thought we'd give you a quick update. We landed safe and sound. Um, yeah. We were just around the corner and then we are going to quickly stop at Target first because it was on the way. Literally, like once I hung up, it was like two minutes ride. So Target, find parking, grab and go. Let's see if we can get a good lucky spot. We needed a cart. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're gonna come in for just, you know, the quick in and out. Just needed shampoo and um, sunscreen, but we got a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> we got a beach bag. It's so cute, I love the color. It's only $10, forgot to bring a beach bag. That is the reason why I got one. Some snacks, of course, for the beach. And Nico found a couple of outfits he liked. Got a sun umbrella for the beach and some water. So I'm gonna keep walking and see what else we can find. Yes, Emma? Oh, lunchbox. Honestly, this Target is the best. Oh, look at this lunch bag. This is so cute. It is so well organized, so much stuff to look at, better than the one, you know, the closest one to us is Bellingham. So, oops. Okay, we're getting a little distracted, especially Nico, it's getting super distracted. Do we need a floaty? Seems like we need a lot of stuff now. Do you need a floaty, Emma? No. How about you, Nico? Do you need a floaty? Emma, Emma. Emma, catch. Oh. We made it. 
Let's check out this view here. It's so pretty at night. So that is the rainbow where we stayed at before. We are on the third building, I believe, which is part of the resort still. A little bit further out. Um, but look at the pool down there. I can't wait to swim that tomorrow. And the lagoon over there. I don't know if you guys can see it. The morning will be much better. 